Hey, what's going on, guys? Just gonna give you an update of the garden here. We're at T's Trees, the 6 3 Gardener. I got a shade cloth up. This is a 60 to 70 percent shade cloth. Keeping the pomegranate out, the thing is killing it out here in the sun. Pomegranate is one of the trees that can grow on the first year's growth as well as existing growth. A little fun fact for you guys today. This is a little cotto. This thing is also just it's just blown up with growth. In the video we're in the shade. Another one of the first year growth potential trees is a jujube. Some new information I found out, so I wanted to share that information. So jujubees can grow on the old growth as well as new growth. As you can see, we're doing pretty good. Barbados cherry, this one hasn't really woken up too, too much. A couple new spots of growth here and there, but so here you go. You can just see the difference because we used Ivy Organics before, and so got the coloration on the foliage. Here's the star fruit. So the stuff at the top is getting a little crispy, it's getting a little harder than it's normally wanting. The biggest thing I have going on here is the day avocados. I'm going to try to show you this, guys. Fruit set. We have baby, avoc baby avocado growth on this six month old transplant in the ground. And these things are just loaded up all over. Each flowering section has several. Uh, I mean, I was counting earlier, I counted just this top section alone. All the way around, I counted about 25 to 30. So this is the big news I had because growing avocados in Arizona is not that easy. <laughs> A lot of people have failures at this. As you can see up here, just fruit set, fruit set, fruit set, fruit set, all over. So this is one of the trees that I'm most excited for because avocados in Arizona is not really a common thing. So we also have some mango sets. We'll probably take some of these off again. Mangoes are still growing. Only one per section. Didn't want to overwhelm it. Probably should have took those off, but I'm just gonna give it a shot. It's a non doc my that grown there. This is my fuerte. So when I was out here, I was watching the bees come to this fuerte, all the way over to the de avocado and back and forth. So that is one of the success rates of increased pollination is 15 to 20 percent extra because we have a high abundance of flowers over there and the bees were going all day a.m. p.m. totally hitting that thing up so I think that's why we had such a high success rate now here we go is the star cherry of several flowers on this guy a little hard to see but you can see a little white little pods right here so it'd be nice to see if we can get a fruit set on one of these guys Sunflame peach. I didn't see anything. Uh, I didn't see anything that uh, pollinated, so we'll just let it grow. It's only been in the ground a couple months. Ugly Betty mango. Still new growth. No new growth on any of the avocados, just the flowering stems. This is the Mexico Grande. It's getting a lot of shade from the new foliage down at the base and on this south exposed side. So, it's doing really good. This is one of the worst looking trees I have in the garden. I was going to replace it, but no, it looks pretty good now. This thing here, this is a citronella. Oh, this thing is really big. This is just killing it on this east exposure wall. But another thing that's killing it is this Barbados cherry. Let's just see if I can zoom in over here. There's new foliage and there's new flowering pods all over this guy. So 
But this is my hand. Let's see if I can show you this. Like I'm not a small person, and this is larger than the thickness of my finger. So these things are really doing well here. Really loving all this eastern exposure on the house. So I mean, doing way better than the one that's over there getting more sun. To be honest. But another video tip I wanted to do is why we're putting shade cloth up. Let's just see Tim. 120 at the ground. Move it over. We're in the shade now. Below 100. 100, 305. Out of the shade. 120. I mean, guys, here in Arizona, this is a necessity. You gotta gotta put these things up. Uh, these are just some posts I used. Ran these things into the ground. It wasn't even that bad to put them in. Uh, then I used double wrapped string, laced around it twice, and then tightened, pulled. And I put these clamps on one side each in case I need to, do need to take it down. I can remove it. But, I mean, this thing isn't going anywhere. <laughs> this thing is solid. But, I'll have one more 16 foot section. I'll be getting at the up today or tomorrow. So, it's going to run along this whole entire section here. So, everything's going to be covered in this strip gardening method that I'm doing. Compact strip gardening. Uh, and also, we buried... The irrigation line on this side so eventually coming up here soon I'm gonna get on this other side and bury all this stuff on the back side now we're gonna wait until the temperatures are a little bit lower the 70s or 80s Benny you trying to help garden okay well that's a little wiener dog trying to help out but sun comes out here and picks up the poop they sometimes pee on the burns but it's not really a big problem I mean obviously you can see Doing something right that's not going to be too detrimental to these guys. So let me show you one last thing I gave you guys, an, or I'm going to give you guys an update. Uh, film this one today. Uh, what are we on? I think the 29th? Yeah. The 29th of March. So let me just show you another video I did a couple days ago, but I wanted to give you guys this one first. Showing all of these fruit sets. On this day avocado like I mean see one two three four five six seven eight I mean this thing is that's just one cluster so guys must be doing something right going all organic as possible I just want to say thank you to Charles Malky. I mean, his videos taught me a lot. So, I mean, I'm using his product, Ivy Organic. All of the bases, the trees, all the foliage getting sprayed with the Ivy Organic foliar spray. But this thing is, it's truly just helping out the plant not have to fight off the sun. I mean, come on, sunblock for plants. Literally... A great choice on my end. I mean, you're talking about hundreds and hundreds of dollars that you're investing if you have, you know, over six trees. I mean, that's just if you get them at really nice prices of under $30. Since we have 14, 15 trees here, you got to think about it. That's, I mean, what, 450 if they're all $30 trees? So, for a $30 bottle uh, or can of Ivy Organics, I mean... I was able to paint everything at least once in my garden. So these are new starts. These these were not super crazy huge five gallon, ten gallon pots. These are just three gallon pots. So let me just show you the Frederick Passion Vine real quick. Then we'll say goodbye. So one second, I'll cut to get you over there. Alright, so here we go. This is a ten foot section of passion vine on the wall. Just from one post to the other post this thing is stretching over but we did put the new extension on the trellis system 
we'll have to run the wires here soon. And then we're just going to separate these guys and grow them out. Big is full of feeding every two weeks. Granular or liquid seaweed feeding every month. I'm not doing time release stuff. I'm just doing every month. And everything's loving it. It's giving all organic resources the plants need. Alright guys, thanks for watching.